Hey, what's up everyone? And today I'm doing a top 10 apps of May 2015. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first app up is Iris, and this is a really cool app. It allows you to view your camera through your interface on your phone, kind of like a transparent effect you can view through into your camera. So this may be handy if you're walking along and you don't wanna like trip up or something when using your phone. You might be emailing someone or do, doing something important. You can customize it in your notification tray. You get these little arrows and you can make the transparency more or less. It's really cool and um, it's kind of just nice to use and also it can come in handy, like I said before, if you're walking down the street and you're messaging someone, then it can be cool. Okay guys, this is App Swap, and basically this allows you to get a material design app drawer, similar to the Google Now Launchers app drawer. Um, basically, it has all your apps in it, you can access them from any app, so say I'm in music and I want to switch to an app, I can just swipe up from the bottom and it will open. You can also access it from the notification tray if you have a home button that's on the bottom of the screen, like a Nexus device. Um, but this is really handy, it's really quick, saves you having to go back to your home screen a lot. And to be honest, I don't really go back to my app drawer anymore after installing this app. It's just really easy and there's no need. Now, I can open the Samsung App Store. I probably won't because it sucks. Um, I'll probably open the Play Store instead. You also get a search bar, which is nice. And you also get this kind of cool thing where you can swipe left and right to access apps. Now, on the left, I have my Google Now. So I can just swipe across and it will open. Very simple. And on the other side, I have the Play Store. Very nice. Okay, this is called Facts, and basically it's in the name. It tells you facts on a daily basis. You can set up the time. I currently have it set to nine till 10, um, nine in the morning till 10 at night. You can turn the daily reminder on and it will basically just tell you facts. Now this is really neat. I do like learning stuff and you can also share them. So you can share at the bottom here with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. You can share an image. It's really nice and I highly recommend it. It's really good for learning new stuff if you're into that. You can also save them, it's pretty good. Now this next up app is called Instagrid. Now basically this allows you to, um, if you've seen any of them big collages of pictures that match together on Instagram, this allows you to do that. So I've got it here, here's my Iron Man kind of abstract art version and it allows you to cut up the image and post them on Instagram to make kind of a big image. So I'll show you how it works. All you do is you hit the share button and you come back to the app every time and it will basically post them in the correct order so that it will form this. So yeah, you can also follow me, I'm mfuzzy10, um, but there we go. It's a pretty good app, Instagrid. Okay, this is a new file manager. It's really neat and it's got a material design kind of look to it. Now I've changed mine slightly, um, so mine's got red and blue. But it's fairly simple and um, you can make files, folders, remote connections. I'll show you how to actually configure it. If you go into settings and scroll down, you can change your primary color, your accent color, and your thumbnail color. So say I'll make it orange. There we go. Turns orange. It's fairly simple, but I like red. Um, but yeah, I would definitely check it out. Okay, this next up app is really epic. And it basically gives you news feeds on the go of like all different magazines and things like that. Um, so say I'll go in the science ones and I can see all my science magazines here. I can flick through them all, zoom in and out. You know, I can read them all by one. Look at the pictures, more like what I'll do. But um, you can look at the pictures, zoom out, scroll through really fast and look at the pictures. Um, it's really nice, no, but I do actually read this. It's really good, I love reading stuff like this. Um, I often use Flipboard, and you can also crop out text you like and save it um, into like one big folder, which is really nice, but I would definitely check it out if you're really into reading articles. Okay, so this next up app allows you to take a picture every single day and post it. Now it will remind you and give you one minute to post it and you can go through and you can like a bunch of other people's. So I'll like one there, all you do is tap to like. And I've actually posted one, I'll show you right now. Um, so this, it, it can also give you ones nearby. But if I show you the one I posted right here, I wasn't too sure how it worked, so I didn't get my face in. But um, you can comment on them and like them and it basically just takes one picture per day. I think it's a really neat idea. Um, there we go, I commented on it, and I can also share it at the top right here. So, whoops, if I click share, I can share it to all my social media. So it's really cool, and I definitely check it out. Okay, this is Snowball, and basically I've been looking for an app like this for ages. It combines all your social media, so I have my Kick, my Skype, 
my hangouts and all that sort of stuff. Um, I got my Snapchat, my messages. Um, it's just at the side of your notifications, so you still get your regular notification bar. It just goes at the side, but it's really neat and it just combines them all and makes them really simple. Okay guys, this is photo math, and basically it's in the name photo and math. If you take a picture of something, it will tell you the answer. Now it was kind of hard, it was kind of tricky to get it on camera, but basically it shows you step by step how to solve the equation and it will tell you the result as well and you can click on it for an explanation. So it's really neat and I would definitely recommend it. Now the last one is not an app. Um, I have done 10 apps, but this is just a widget I liked. This is the Predator widget. Um, from the movie Predator and you can basically change the color of the writing and it's actually in the Predator text the time Which is really neat so you can change the color whatever you want um, You can also view the regular time in you know normal numbers and also you can click on this button It will show you the conversion so um, You can see the translations there, which is really neat now the best thing about this is actually the bomb um, if you tap on this one here It will be kind of a noise and it will explode. So yeah, if you're into Predator, then I thought it's a really nice widget. I definitely recommend getting all of these apps. These are my absolute must-have apps. So anyway, guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I really hope you enjoyed my video. So don't forget to comment down below. Definitely comment, um, give me recommendations, and tell me what you think of my apps. So there we go. Thanks for watching. <laughs>